Casey here and welcome back to the channel. This week I've got a blast from the past for you guys, so check out this video. Hi, Casey with Excellent Adventure Van, continuing our series on rebuilding the uh, Ford Super Duty Dana 60 front axle. Uh, in this segment of the video, we're gonna rebuild the axle shaft. Rebuilding the axle shafts essentially consists of new U-joints and new seals, as well as a, a much needed cleanup. Um, I've already started to spray the axle down with some PB blaster. Um, spray it down all around the U-joint uh, caps and let that work into place. Um, also a good idea to take a, a steel brush and, and brush around the outside edge and around the inside edge as best you can to get rid of any grime that might hold the U-joint uh, caps up as you're trying to press them out. Um, this axle is a 2004 F250 um, Super Duty truck. Uh, the 2003 and 4 for sure had Dana 60s. Some of the earlier years could be a Dana 50 or a Dana 60, but this process should be the same for all. Um, if you look closely, these U joints are held in place with an inside circlip. Um, to take these out, what I like to do is I like to get some kind of spacer that's the uh, slightly larger than the U-joint cup. And this will be slightly larger either way. Um, I have to put that on the underside of the axle. Make sure everything's supported nice and securely. And then you have to take a three pound sledge or so and just give it a couple of serious taps. Then you flip it over, you can see that the circlip is pushed through just a little bit, and that's what you want. Then you grab your screwdriver, go in, and just give it a few taps. There it goes. So once you get it started, tap gently. And once you get it out far enough to grab it with a pair of vice grips, do that. Because these little things will go flying if you hit them hard enough. All right, so we got our vice grips on there. And tap it just a little bit further. And then come through with your screwdriver from the other side, holding your vice grip so it doesn't go flying. And just pry it off. So that's how you get the circlips out. I've already done the other three, just for the uh, purpose of expedience. So, there's a couple of different schools of thought for pressing out U-joints. Um, I've seen some people support the ear of the drive shaft with, you know, a cup like this, but deeper, and just press the U-joint on through, and then pull the cap out, and then press the U-joint back through the other way. Um, I would not recommend this on something like this. It's really easy to cock the U-joint sideways. And if you do that, you can elongate the ear, the hole in the ear, and uh, and next thing you know, your axle's junk. Ask me how I know. So, uh, the method that I like to use, I actually found from Ventures Truck Parts YouTube page, and it's stupid simple. Um, all you do, open your vise enough to rest the ears of the front stub shaft on the vice jaws. And you just tap away with your sledge. Be very careful not to hit the collar where your seal goes. And as it comes out, it gets easier. You can feel it loosening up. So you, there it is. So once it pops through, just grab it with your fingers. All right, so I had to wrestle with that for quite a minute. Um, what I ended up doing is I ended up setting it back on the vise. I gave just a very slight downward tap and it came right off. So. Once you get the one side done, flip it over. So you could throw this in the press and try to press this through, but as you can see, it's prone to caulking. 
and it'd be very hard to press it out perfectly even. So what you can do is you use the, uh, the U-joint cross to your advantage. If I'm pressing from the cross and I'm just pressing this out, there's really only one way for it to go and that's straight out. So grab your sledge again. It can be a little hard to keep the stub shaft centered on the vice jaws, but just... okay. So <laughs> it's funny because the other axle came apart so much easier. It helps to have a second set of hands, somebody to hold the stub shaft, keep it from sliding uh, off of the vice jaws as you're hitting it with the sledge at least to get it started. So as you can see, it's started now. I think I can get it the rest of the way by myself. So it's about to pop. Getting very close. So you decrease the strength of your blows as you get closer. There it is. Let's see if this one is as much of a bear to get the cap off. Set it back up here. There it is. Oh, well. Let's stick with me. There we go. Look, all the needles fell out. And the seal's still on there. All right, so we've successfully separated the inner axle shaft from the outer. All right, that was a bear. <laughs> so the reason you press the U-joint out of the inner shaft first is just because the inner shaft is larger and slightly more cumbersome. Um, once you accomplish that, you can actually do the, uh, the stub shaft U-joint, the stub shaft half of the U-joint on a press. So first things first, we need to take this over to the press and we need to press off the, the hub seal. Okay, so we've got the stub shaft set up in the press. Um, I just have a socket in between the, um, the end of the press ram and the stub shaft, just something so you're not pressing directly on the splines. And once you uh, get it set in there, just give it a little press action. It presses right out. It's not a very tight fit. I always put my hand on it so that all right so that's the hub seal um, so again you could press the u-joint through the ears um, press one side out and then press the other side back through but anytime you do that you stand the chance of the u-joint cocking which will completely screw up the ears of your axle shaft you always want to press from the cross itself if it's something that you're replacing. So I've got the cross supported by the jack stand heads. I've got a, a spacer to receive the U-joint cap and an aluminum spacer just to give me some more throw. And I'm just gonna press this through. It's normal to hear it pop a little bit. You can see that it's moving. all I get. Loosen that up. And it has not quite popped through yet, so I'm going to need another spacer. Take much more to get it the rest of the way through. 
There it is. Okay, so by working the uh, cross back and forth, I actually got the cap to pop out this time. So, press it back into the other cap and set it up the same way again. Try to center everything up as best you can. Because these are a sealed type U joint, I think that's why they're giving me so much trouble. There we go. And we'll just tap that out with a hammer. There we go. All right. So that's disassembly. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, so I have no idea what happened to the rest of it. Uh, I went on to uh, reinstall new U-joints and seals on that axle shaft and the video was just lost. Uh, I got a little behind with work this week, so I figured I would use this as a chance to re-air one of my old videos. Figured maybe you guys would get a kick out of that back when I had a camera person. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for coming back to the channel this week. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you saw in today's video. Hit me up in the comments to let me know what you thought of it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That helps me keep the content coming week after week. All right, thank you so much for watching this week, and I'll see you guys soon.